G'day again everyone, in this video we're going to create a simple hamburger graphic using Adobe Illustrator and it's uh, mostly its shape tool. So let's go into create a new document um, and um, the first thing I'm going to do is grab the rectangle tool, no we're going to grab the ellipse tool actually and we're going to draw out a perfect circle. Um, so I'm going to hold shift down and I'm going to draw out a circle and oops, hold on, you'll notice when it should, uh, when it goes like that, when you get the two uh, pink lines cross-secting through, um, you've got a perfect circle. Um, now I'm going to change the, f get rid of the stroke because I don't want a stroke and I'm going to get a take it fill colour of like a tan kind of hamburger colour. Um, it's a bit small so I'm going to grab the corner and I'm going to hold shift down to constrain the proportions and drag to make it nice and big like that. Okay, now in Illustrator it doesn't give us the option to create a semicircle because because I want to we want to split this in half so we've got the top of the bun and the bottom of the bun. So an easy way to do that is is if you grab your scissors tool, um, if you can't see it, it's click and hold, it will be behind the eraser tool. Uh, so grab the scissors tool and go to this anchor point here and click once and nothing will happen but it's acceptable to say shape expanded and then go to the other anchor point and click once again. And what that has done is it's actually cut the shape in half for us um, and if we go to the black selection tool you'll notice that I've got two shapes now. All right. Now the shapes, they're actually lines and the shape's not complete yet. Um, you'll notice if I go into stroke and put a black stroke on there, uh, the stroke doesn't go all the way around because the shape's not complete. So to complete the shape, grab the pen tool, which is this one here, and then just hover over the anchor point, click once, and come over to this other anchor point and click again, and that will complete the shape and you can complete the path to make the shape sorry and do the same for the top one back to the move tool and you'll notice that we now have two complete shapes all right so I've got the top of the bun we've got the top and the bottom of the bun now I'm just going to take the stroke back off that one because we don't want it um, now usually the bottom of the bun will uh, have, be a lot flatter than the top so uh, to do that, if you grab the white selection tool, um, this is a good tool where you can actually bend and warp and manipulate it, your shapes in Illustrator. And if you select this here, undo that, sorry, and if you click on the anchor point, you'll notice the bezier handles will come up. Now, we don't want to play around with the handles at the moment. In this example, all we want to do is grab the middle anchor point and push it up so that that'll give us like a flat bottom of the hamburger, okay, and um, you can also move it, click again, and I'll make it a little bit flatter, just like that, and I'm going to leave the top as is. All right, now the next thing we're going to make is, uh, let's make the meat that goes within, so let's go to your tools, and let's get our rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw out roughly a little bit bigger, a little bit wider than the hamburger, the size of the meat patty and let's change the film fill color to something like a darkish brown um, and whoops I don't want to do that uh, we want to round the corner so let's go up to this circle and hover over it with the mouse and make sure that the rectangle selected and click hold and drag and let's get some rounded corners in there I might round them as much as we can all right so there's our meat patty the right there that's great um, the next thing we might do is is create um, might add some tomato or some tomato sauce to it. So if you grab a if we grab a rectangle tool and we make draw out a really thin rectangle like that. Wait a minute. Um, and let's change the fill color to like a nice ready color like that. And we might just get the move tool and we'll grab hold it a bit and move it to here. It's a little bit too small, so I'm just going to stretch it out a bit so it almost gets to the end. Oh, I don't want to rotate it. There 
we go. That will do. Um, and there's, if I move that up there, move the bottom of the bun up. There we go. Um, so we've got a really simple, easy hamburger. Now, um, might just put some cheese on it, okay, because I think that'll look nice. Um, we might use the curvature tool for this uh, so that we can create a bit of a wavy line that we can play around with and reshape as we need. Um, so grab the curvature tool. Let's change the fill color to yellow. Just use that yellow there. Um, and click once, move across, click again, and let's kind of create like a wavy bit of cheese. Now don't worry about trying to get it perfect just yet because we can always reshape and resize it. Uh, make sure you join the paths up to create a shape. And now what we can do is with the curvature tool still selected, we can um, manipulate and move the anchor points to shape our melting cheese. There we go. Um, so back to the move tool. I might, let's, this is going to be way too big, I think. So I might just rotate it so it's a bit straight out. I might just use, grab the corner to reshape it and let's bring it in and see how it's going to look on there. There we go. Now there's one problem. It's in front of the bun and it should be behind it. So to arrange elements in an, uh, a graphic in Illustrator, what you can do is you can select the object or uh, the shape that you want to change the arrangement of. So and right click it, go to arrange and let's send it to back. Send it, send, send it backwards and that will push it back one level. If we send it all the way to the back, it'll push it all the way to the back, which we don't want. I'll show you what happens if we do that, okay? So that's not what we want. So Command Z to undo. Let's go back and arrange and let's send it backwards. And that'll just send it back one step. Now you notice the um, source or the tomato has come forward. So right click that and let's do the same thing. Arrange, send backwards. And there we go. Um, but our it's now in front of our bun again. We might be able to select the top of the bun and right click it and go to arrange it. We might just bring it to the front because it's not going to matter if we bring it. It's going to, it needs to be above everything. There we go. There's your hamburger. Um, I could, there's our hamburger. I could get the white selection tool and I might, if I wanted to make this a little bit thinner, you could play around with the shape of it, you could muck around with trying to add some lettuce to it, add some more add some more toppings to it, whatever you like. But um, there's our simple, easy hamburger graphic um, created in Illustrator just by using shapes and a little bit of the curvature tool. Thank you. Bye.